Countries across Europe are slowly starting to open up. Well, for Italians who want to see their family after restrictions, the Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, had to clarify exactly who a relative is. Katie Dartford tells us more. As Italy registered its lowest day-to-day -day number of new cases of COVID-19 since the start of the national lockdown, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conti visited Lombardy, the country's hardest-hit region, for the first time since the start of the outbreak. After announcing that Italians could leave their homes to visit relatives from next Monday, he clarified just what a relative was, as Italy has no legal definition for the term. It doesn't mean you could go to everyone's house, visit friends, relatives. Well, relatives, yes, it's possible, sorry. But not to visit friends, to have parties. You will be able to visit people with whom you have a relationship or close relationships. Meanwhile, auto plants across Italy and Spain sprang back to life again after their governments allowed them to resume activity as long as safety measures were put in place. In Italy's biggest Fiat Chrysler plant, employees were given gloves and masks and transparent plastic shields were installed to separate workers. In Spain, as the country reported over 300 new virus deaths in the last 24 hours, King Philippe VI of Spain and Queen Letizia visited the headquarters of the emergency medical services in the Madrid region. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez will present a detailed plan today for a de-escalation of the country's lockdown. His French counterpart, Edouard Philippe, is also due to present a national exit strategy to Parliament today, which would then be debated and a vote taken on the recommendations. 17 priorities have been identified, including reopening schools, returning to work and the supply of masks and sanitizers. Elsewhere, more EU countries have begun to open up. In Switzerland, businesses including dentists, hair salons 